Greetings and welcome to a special video. Um, so I found this game on Kickstarter and it looked really, really cool. So I decided to like, you know, can I contact the devs and maybe they'll let me have a key and so I can play this. So what happened is they do indeed have a demo version for me to try out. Anyway, let me show you what this game is like. And I'm really hoping this is going to be a great game because it looks really cool. So um, the prices here are in Norwegian kroner because I'm currently in Norway, but we have a translation factor um, at the moment I'm recording. 33,000 of 40,000 has been pledged for this game so far. Anyway, um, quick, quick overview of the Kickstarter page. We have the story. This is an airport tycoon simulator being created by fans for fans of aviation. Now, this is where the game gets really interesting for me. In this game, you will play through 150 years of history of air travel. You will develop your own airport within the framework of historical progresses from the very beginning of civil aviation to the near future. Customizable sandbox. We have seven eras of aviation. This is really cool. Um, the beginning dawn of airlines, noontide of propellers, turbo streams, magnificence of the sky. Fly, everybody, and jet shine. 300 plus objects. Realistic scale. Now that's kind of cool. Various passengers and airlines. We have 12 different passenger types from backpacker to exclusive and three types of airlines. Low cost, domestic, and international. We have airport management as well. So you can see this airport, this air air thingies happening here. We got passengers getting off. We got cargo happening. Um, probably baggage, maybe mail as well. This is looking like a food truck coming up there. Um, yeah, this is looking really cool, I think. Um, anyway, we have here are the eras they talk about. I'm not going to read all of these things, but you can see from this uh, little gift that's in, embedded in the page here that you need technology. And yes, you have to research that technology in order to get it. Um, I've played a little bit of the demo and it's looking pretty cool. It's very basic. Now, let me just tell you about the, bis the, the demo. Um, but if they achieve all this stuff, this is going to be a really cool game. But look at this. Here we have the different kinds and tiny little little airplanes compared to this big Pan Am jetliner. Man, some of the ones that we've seen now with the curved up wing tips and stuff. Really cool. The propeller ones as well. And then we have all these like maintenance vehicles and stuff like this. Um, anyway, so we have the different people. <laughs> look at this. They even have funny hats and stuff. Aw, that's, oh, look at this with a kilt and, and everything. That's nice. All right. So we have flight and service management. Um, so it looks like there are schedules happening here. Uh, and then this goes into the backer rewards and I'll let you read that for yourself. Is there anything else we need to look at here? I think we're good. Okay. So here is the roadmap. Just go over this real quick. They started in February 2017. So this game has been in development for two years. And then they had their first working prototype in November of that year. <clears throat> they have a playable demo as of August uh, 2018. And then we're doing a Kickstarter right now. Or they are doing a Kickstarter right now. So, uh, and then these are the plans. January 2020, closed beta number one. Uh, closed beta number two and three. And then early access is in about, I don't know, a year, three quarters of a year type of thing. And then December 2020, full timeline and DLC cargo, which is kind of cool. Yeah, there are several DLCs planned, I believe. Um, so yeah, this is, this is so good. And, um, oh, wow. I'm just like looking at all these things. Here are the people on the team. I was like, huh, these people kind of look like these people a little bit. I wonder if that's them. But anyway, it's really, uh, really interesting looking. And I really, the features that I really am crazy about are like the whole, like going through these eras of airlines, because I feel like that might give the game really an interesting strategic component and depth and like the whole, it's not just build a bigger and bigger airport. It's research new technologies and get other things done. And I think that could be a really unique kind of, uh, part of the game. Anyway, so we're going to play the demo real quick. And uh, anyway, this is one of these. Let's see what it's like. I just want to tell you the news. There are things happening here. Anyway, I don't have any financial link to this game. I just think it's kind of interesting. So let's go and check out the demo. Now, remember, it's kind of bare bones, but we can do some stuff with it. So let's check that out. 
Alrighty, so this demo is really, really bare bones. Um, and there's no music, so, uh, but we'll start a new game and see how it goes. Hello, dear backer. This is Skyhaven Alpha number one. Please keep in mind that this is even not a beta and still a work in progress. By continuing to play, you accept all the pain and unsatisfaction related to using unfinished products. Known issues, there is no sound. And save, sometimes the save corrupts. Please help us to improve the game and share with us all the bugs you'll find or thoughts and suggestions on our web and Steam forums. And we have a couple of links there. End of disclaimer, I find this absolutely hilarious because sometimes indeed there is pain and unsatisfaction. Anyway, so super detailed tutorial. Game starts in 1910. Here you have to build an airport for the first commercial flights. Build a runway and a ramp, then connect it with the taxiway. Build mall service, uh, mail service, sorry, and connect it with the ramp using the road. And then link the ramp and mail service. Last step, hire the trucks in the mail service window. Go and sign airlines and you're ready to land your first flights. Sincerely yours, Real Welders. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, and this is not very explanatory, uh, so I'm going to try to explain what I have learned about the game. We have two different kinds of roads. We've got dra grass taxiways, and those are for planes only, and grass roads, and those are for trucks only, and they cannot cross. You cannot let them cross, uh, except on the ramps. Uh, ramps are where planes park for various services. And then the grass strip is a landing strip. And that's where we're going to be starting the building in our airport. So let's go ahead and put this kind of toward the edge of the map there. Uh, I think we're going to pause the game. I don't think, well, I don't think we actually need to pause it or unpause it. Because it seems to be kind of set. Oh, it is on pause. Never mind. Uh, good deal. Very good. Um, so now we have a couple of things we need to do. We need to have spots for our planes to park. And then we need to add the buildings that will service them. So let's go ahead and put in a road here. I want a taxiway. Starting from here. And then hmm, maybe going down to here-ish. Let's start with that. And then what I'm going to do is place the ramps on either side of this. So we'll start with one down here at the corner and put that like right there and then have another one possibly here. Maybe we'll build three just for good luck. Yeah, right. And then I want to connect them all. Just connect here to here and then here to we could connect these ends together, but we might have to delete the roads later if we decide to add more. So I think what I'm going to do is just take them out to here and then make a new road like this. And this is a really cool feature. Look at this. It's like tells you where it would connect. So that's perfect. So that's just absolutely perfect for our needs. So we're going to connect one at a time because this is it costs money. Um, and then we're going to get our road going on here, but I want to get the buildings placed down first. So barrel stock is a fueling station. So that's what that is. Uh, the post warehouse is mail. So we're going to build a mail place. Um, I'm thinking I would like to get these roads made. Yeah, there we go. There we are. And then we'll get our building for the mail place post warehouse rotate the buildings already. There we go. I'm just going to have this placed like there-ish. Now I was told not to put the buildings too close together because there are some issues apparently. It looks like we're going to have enough money to have a fueling uh, place as well. So we can sort of glue them, but again, I, I was told not to put them too close together. We don't want to crash the demo. <laughs> uh, okay. And then connect them with roads. Now then, these little guys, and it's a little bit wavy, we see this, but remember, remember, it's, it's early days yet. Okay, so these thingy-majingies, the ramps, they need links. And we can see that they want a link for a fuel station and a mail warehouse. So uh, I don't actually like the icons here because... The link is fine, but the colors are not fine. Because when I see orange, I feel like, oh my god, there's an action needed here. Whereas green is like, ah, yeah, everything's fine. Uh, so anyway, that's what those are for. It looks like we have money left. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these guys to, um, to the runway. 
and then link those up as well. It would be nice to have like a mass linking thing where you could just like select all of those things and then do all the linking together. Because I can imagine just like going around and like making many, many parking spaces for our planes. Okay, so we're here. Uh, we have $934 left. That's not a lot. Let's get uh, in the postal warehouse. We have this menu here for we can shop for a truck. So let's get one of these. Let's see, we can afford two more. So the post warehouse wants to have two vehicles at once, I think, because there's mail loading and mail unloading. Uh, and I think you can do that with two trucks at the same time. So let's buy a vehicle for the fuel station as well so that they can come and serve as planes. So what we've just done here, and let's go ahead and fast forward to the next flight. Okay, so there is a plane coming in here. Um, we have ramps one, two, or three, and we can see the numbers out here on the, on the actual ramps. So it's most advantageous to us if we go into ramp number one, because then the trucks will have a shorter distance. So we'll have this one land here. Uh, we have here the penalty for failing to service the airline or failing to land. It's $20. And then estimated money for the service is landing $10, parking $10, mail unload $28, mail load another $28. So let's just go ahead and land this at ramp one. And then we will see it land. Let's see wh which way it comes in. We can kind of quicken the speed a bit. I have no idea where it's going to come from. Hello, are you coming? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Our first plane. Hooray. Okay. So this is a Blariot X1 or X maybe 11, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, it is a plane. Uh, parking service. The uh, things are blocked at the moment because I think it's not there. <laughs> it's because it's not in the parking space yet. Um, so then we're going to have the trucks. There we go. Yeah, truck is going. Uh, parking service is happening. Loading, unloading mail is happening right now. So we can speed this up a bit. There we go. And then the load mail is going to happen. I think the truck has got to come back there for that to, to happen. There we go. Yep, so then they're doing the loading mail. And we have another plane coming in. So this one, yeah, fuel and mail service. If you don't have enough money uh, for fuel service, just do mail service. Because I know I overbought myself at some point. But yeah, we'll go and take this one. And then as these are occupied, they kind of, um, yeah, they, they show. There's our next plane coming in. And I've been running the game kind of like at max speed as the planes are like coming in here. Uh, so that I can make more money. <laughs> so as we do all these things, we're going to get some rep um, and more and more planes are going to start to come in. So let's just go and get this. We want to take this 106 one f more uh, or yeah, we won't do that one more uh, because it's going to give us more money. So there we go. And at some point here, we're going to have three different planes sitting out here and not enough trucks to service them. So already here's a plane that's going to be okay. Can't do much because we don't have the parking spaces for it. But at some point we can, um, yeah, we can get our money put to good use and start buying more parking spaces. So there we go. Or more ramps, I guess they're called. Okay, this one is a 106. Yeah, we'll take you ahead of the other one. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. And I guess we can even have some more landed because we have two parking spaces that are... Um, oh, oh, there we go. There's another one. Yeah, occupied. So if we go and look at uh, parking these planes here, let's put these the other way. This is kind of aligned here. Let's just do it far enough from the road to make sure we get a connection here. Let's do one there and then one over here. We'll just add three, $250 each. Um, there we go. Ramp is not connected. No. Well, keep on going. Do your thing. And we'll connect those in a bit because I don't think we have enough money to actually connect them, but we can link them if we want to. Oh, we can't. We can't link them. Because, oh my goodness, look at what we have now. 
we have bigger planes. So this one requires uh, Paxes, which is basically passengers. We can't take it, even though it's worth 383. Ah, sigh. But this one, 249. Yes, come down here. So it seems like when you start to build more ramps, you get more planes. Um, this one, yes, come in. These are cargo. They need cargo. We don't have anything to do with cargo. So we're going to have to get that uh, in a second. But let's see if we can build a little bit more here. Let's go here and then here. I know that's going to drive some people nuts, but remember, it's early early days yet everyone don't don't worry about the crooked road it's okay <laughs> okay we'll take this one maybe come on let's go let's go do the tang service to planes go 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 you can also cancel things that you're not going to take so you can just delete them off your list that's what i've been doing with the cargo ones here all right come on come on planes come in here Oh, they're already here. We're just waiting on the trucks to service them. No, I need that $249. Give it. All right. Yeah, we probably need to spend less money on ramps and more money on trucks. Oh, no, that one passes by. That's a shame. That is a shame. But we do have this one, which is good. Very good. Take these off. The PAX one off. Do have this one, which is 106. Let's take this one instead. And then these I'm just going to cancel. Um, I feel like we could use more stuff. What are we waiting on here? Mail. There's, so there's two mail um, processes that need different trucks or need... I don't know why they, they need different trucks, but it's okay. It happens. This one. Oh, I would love to have that $249. Give, give. Postal warehouse. Let's... Um, buy parking spaces we can buy a parking slot and then buy a truck so that's three trucks on that one buy another one do we have enough yes just enough to have four because uh, every one of these wants mail except for just the cargo only but very few actually want fuel so it's better for us to buy more mail trucks uh and uh and see if we can get stuff going on that come on come on folks so this one is fueling. Yes. Let's see if we can get this one in here. Yes. There we go. $249 right in our pockets there. Let's just delete some of these that we know we're not going to get to. We really want these higher, higher end uh, experiences for our planes, I think. Another $249. Yep. They're all occupied. What is this one waiting for? Fueling. Okay. And this one is doing mail. I guess we can get another fuel truck as well. That would be a good idea. Let's see if we can take this one. Hooray. Passengers, go away. I don't want to accidentally click the passenger one to come here because then we'd have to pay the penalty uh, for not servicing that plane. So let's go ahead and make, maybe make another of these. Oh, yeah, we have fuel storage here. Next fuel delivers in seven hours. Okay. Parking lot upgrade. There we go. Let's buy this. And I don't think we can afford one yet. We need 270. All right. Let's get some more planes landed. Definitely don't care about those. One thing that I would wish is like that this window stays open all the time. All the time. Because having to open it, like click on it constantly is a little bit annoying. And I'm just saying is this as part of the... Um, where the devs say, please give us your suggestions. So that's one of my suggestions. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're getting stuff done. What are we waiting for here? Fueling, fueling is happening. Uh, local mail is not there. What are we looking for here? Local mail is there, fueling, performing. And um, I'm not sure why this is, oh, it's blocked because they're unloading the mail. Okay, that's just fine. Let's take these off and again a 249 tasty all right it's you see how it's getting a bit dusky and a bit dark we need to keep that in mind uh because it's soon nighttime and at nighttime we won't be able to invite any more planes in so let's just quickly get the ones that we can get uh and then they'll go on their way so nice so there they go yeah they go and Taxi around and then go fly. Great times, man. Great times. 
Okay, so here we are. 106, yep, runway. Go. Okay, daytime work hours have ended. During late hours, you will be unable to accept any more flights and will have to wait until morning, 8 a.m., for flights to continue coming in. Use this time to focus on improving other aspects of your airport. So, yes, we have this kind of break time. I don't know if that's going to be that way in further eras. I would hope not, because that seems a little bit strange. Um, but anyway, that's what we have at the moment. So, we have other things. Now, to get the research going, we need an office, but we don't have an office yet. I'm thinking we need to buy, maybe just connect these up. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's grab this uh, taxiway. Just maybe align it there. Okay, and get those going. Yay and yay. Good. And then we can uh, just connect these guys one by one. Again, it would be nice to have like a mass connection feature. So, whoopsies. And I, I'm con so confused. I'm like, green, that means it's done, right? <laughs> but it's not. It's not. All right. Um, let's see. Fueling. Oh, and it, that's cool that it shows us in reverse, like, which ones are connected where. So we only have two vehicles on fuel storage. I think we can probably... I think we might want postal. I don't know. Let's get a parking lot upgrade. Let's get one more fuel truck. There we go. So we have three there. And then here's our post warehouse. We have four post vehicles right now. We can All we can do is buy a parking spot. And that's it. After this, we need, we need to make another building. So that's, yeah. Okay, fast forward. I believe we have to fast forward until we get this thing. Fast forward to next flight, which sends the game into like super fast mode, um, but it stops when we get to 8 a.m. Okay, so here we have our daily report and airplane handling. Yay, we made money. Hooray. And we have our total and then our balance is minus 342 because apparently we overspent ourselves somewhere. And I'm not sure exactly where that was, but yeah, somewhere. Okay. It's a new day, a new dawn, and more airlines are coming in. Oh, passengers, no. All right. It's fine, though. We'll just land all the planes we can. And today our goal, I think, is going to be to maybe buy an office. The office is $1,050. And after that, we can start assigning research people. So let's go. Speed fast. Go, go, go. At least they kind of sit near the places. I kind of wish there was a little bit of, I don't know. Uh, it is within the box here, as you see the road, but it's like, eh. It's a little bit weird looking. That's okay, though. Okay, let's invite this one in. Hello, thingy majingy. I should go from the top. One, two, three. What numbers are these? So four, five, six. So I should just do them in order. One, two, three, four, five, six. Instead of being random about it. It's very silly to do that that way. So here's a 240. Yes, come in, please. You also come in. Go away, go away. And you come in there. Okay. 106. Sure. New co... You know what? I'm not going to take this one. I'm going to take the 249, which I waited for. Boom. Much better. Oh, now we're going to make some money. This is going to be good, I think, because we're, it's allowing us to have more uh, planes on the ground and service them better, I think. Um, yeah, but we'll see how it goes. I really can't wait for the whole design your own terminal thing and where the people are going and doing the stuffs and the things and stuff like that. I think that's going to be a really cool feature. No cargo, unfortunately. I'm going to leave this one open for now. Here we go. Expensive planes, come to us. And they do have a limit. You can see the limit they have here is uh, decaying slowly. Yep, another 249. I'll take it. So, oh, yep, here we go. Another couple of cargo planes coming in. Not that interested in the cargo. We have, oh, this one. Let's take this one. Kind of like keeping one open, 
but maybe we should take one of the okay there we go let's just slow this down for a minute now we have something that I haven't found out about yet, which is the flight check. I'm not sure what building does this. I've read through all of the research stuff and I can't figure it out. Um, what says, oh no, it's already, it maybe it's already flight checked. No, no, they have to have after flight check. Now that's such a strange thing because like it's more, get more money from, no, we don't. Okay, that's really interesting. I wonder if there's something funky here. Mail unload, 52, 52, fueling, 80, 80, landing, 20, parking, 15, after flight check, 25. Oh no, here is the one. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, this is more, more expensive than the ones that are, have flight check. But I don't know if I can actually do a flight check. We can invite one in and see. Oh dear, what's going on here? Flight check is not available for this ramp. You have to build a facility building and connect it to the ramp. Okay, so it tells us we cannot land this plane. So let's get rid of all of these with flight check on them. And we also cannot land a cargo plane. So that's not good either. Let's just go ahead and get these down instead. And maybe one of these. And voila, we have $1,340. It's, I have to look again at those numbers um, and figure out what's going on with that. Cause it's kind of strange that those numbers. Okay, so office. The office is a funny building because it doesn't have any trucks to be uh, going on the tarmac or anything like this. So we're gonna leave that, um, but it opens up the research menu, which is great. Now then, research points are, uh, they work in the following system. You can hire clerks in the top left corner of the screen. Each clerk will give you research points per day. Use those points to research anything you want that is available in the list. So we can start off, this is passenger services. Base hospitality basically allows us to take passengers. That's great, but it costs 50 points. Airplane services, hello cargo terminal. So we're going to go ahead and get this one. I want that one. I've looked through many of these things. Here we have a um, two unit barrel stock station using the experience of refueling aircraft. You can develop a more efficient storage layout. First of all, this will allow loading barrels into two cars at the same time. That's nice. And then there's various upgrades here and you can kind of pause the video to look at at some of them. I'm going to talk about some of them and then just um, kind of go through the rest. Ramp service hangar. We have an air traffic control tower, uh, large ramp service hangar. Uh, and then here we have small food factory, catering uh, cart, uh, cart, cartage, catering cart. Yeah. Cartage maybe. Oh yeah. Probably like to, to uh, a cart to take them to the airplanes. Um, yeah. And so there's, there's various things here that you can, uh, research and some of them people demand stuff and some of them are upgrades to current items, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to click through them so you can look at those things. And then we have tarmac paving. And if anyone wants to object to the spellings in this, remember it is early access and remember uh, the language for the developers is not English as a first language. I believe the team is from Russia, if I'm not uh, mistaken. I think so. Um, I could be mistaken completely. But anyway, here we are. Office furniture, we have paper trays, all these things and all the stuff. So anyway, we're going to start off with... Um, yeah, we're going to start off with a cargo terminal because that will allow us to take those cargo planes. And I'm excited for that. Okay, escape out of this and then go at fast, fast speed. Go, 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 go. Okay, this one needs a check. We can't do that. 106, sure. We might even land one of these planes. Oh, we can't do this one, but we can do this one. Hooray. It's kind of fun to watch the vehicles like go back and forth and stuff. This is kind of a funky clicking thing. Oh, here's one. Yay. I'm like keeping maybe one of the really, really cheap planes on here. Wait, did we hire anybody as a researcher? I don't think we did. Nope, it's zero of 10. There we go. We need to hire like two people, three. Let's hire three. How about three? 
There we go. That makes sense. Get rid of this plane. No! Okay, 249 we'll take though. And a 106. Yes. Delete you. All right, there we go. And we are making quite a lot of money in this. Can we afford any more? We can't afford a vehicle here. So let's just shop, buy another mail vehicle. There we go. And then kind of clear out things we can't serve. Okay, how about post? We have five of five, no more parking. Here we have no more parking, I think as well. So it looks like we're gonna need another post place. Let's get rid of this. Um, wait, do we have anything? Wow, we have all of them are completely empty. I guess we should, we should probably get some planes landed even if they're not optimal money wise. If we look at these planes, they are kind of cool models. They almost have this like sort of illustrated Borderlands-ish kind of feel to them. Or 249. I hope we can get something cleared. Please. Please, please. Me want. I want it. Yay. Okay. Very nice. This one can go there. This one has a ready check. No. Don't want ready checks. Okay. Very nice. So. I'm hoping that there's a way to maybe automate this later on. There might not be, but we'll see. I know that there's scheduling, so I'm guessing that at some point we'll have scheduled flights instead of like clicking uh, all the time. So what do we got in our research thing going on here? We have 45 research points. Does that mean we can buy this? Okay, so here's here's the time ticking by kind of thing. Okay, 10 hours. So that means we're going to be able to build the cargo thing in the next emanation. No ready check. No. We need to figure out which building gives us that ready check. Okay, there we go. Mail unloading. This is quite fun. This is quite cool to see like the different planes coming in here. Like we have the tiny, tiny plane. It's the Orville Air Mail. Ha <laughs> ha Nice. I wonder if that's an actual plane or just named after the the um, the Wright brothers. Might be a real plane. I don't know. Let's see. Office. Here we have nearly two thousand dollars. I guess we can possibly make. We could possibly get another researcher. Yeah, let's do that. Now it's seven hours. But. Part of that was probably, we, you know, it might be useful to get another building out here. Postal warehouse. I think, let's find out what we're waiting for. Mail, more mail, more mail. Oh no, that's, that was fuel, I think, on this one. Yeah, that was fueling. Okay. Mail and fuel, mail and fuel. And that's it. Okay, so I think we might need another mail place. So far, it looks like you can't put them on the opposite sides of the road. So we'll just kind of set up a new road like this-ish. Um, there we go. And just connect that up. Easy as pie. And then we're going to buy some plenty of vehicles for here. Shop, go, go. And then I think we can add parking and one more. There we go. Good. But these, I wonder if we can link them to multiple stations. Now that's an issue. Let's see. If we can have this one maybe linked. Mail warehouse, I want you to go there. Oh, it can link, looks like it, to mul No, it can't, just one, just one. So let's go post service, I want you to go there instead. So since this one has five vehicles, we'll just leave it at four stations, and this one has three, I think, so two stations, sure. Okay, so let's 
get some more planes in here. Come on in. Hooray. Go, go, go. Away. 106 will take. Hey. So that should speed things up significantly, I hope. And here we got planes waiting. There they go. All right. Take that one there. Oh, there we go. We need to get some planes down on the ground to get some monies. You know what? We'll just take all of them. It's getting dusky. There we go. Daytime work hours have ended. All right. During late hours. Yep. We can't accept flights. We are getting the money rolling in though, but hopefully we'll get that research done. Um, but I think you'll have to come back uh, the next time to see what happens with this. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying this demo gameplay. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.